day to you. Guess what? It's like 5 p.m. and I'm only vlogging now because I was stuck inside editing a Nerds Pharrell video, but I finished it and I posted it, and if you've seen it, oh, thank you. Um, if you've seen it, awesome. If you haven't, it'll be in the link in the down bar and all that stuff. Um, we don't have any plans today, do we? Nope. We're just, uh, we're just gonna play by ear. All right? All right. Let's go hang out. My facts might not be right, but I have noticed that I don't know how long this has been happening, but I have never seen anime t-shirts being sold in any store before, unless it was like an anime store specifically. But they are actually like, they have a kiosk now in Hot Topic for like a bunch of anime stuff. And they have Betty Theater. Ah, and they have Sword Art Online. Ah, they have like so many of these things and I cannot believe it. I'm so excited right now. I won't get it, but I'm excited about it. I feel like the dude right now who's just kind of like watching and sitting while his girlfriend shops. <laughs> yep. The jeans got murdered. Ah. We were suggested to go on a street today by a friend and this street is like I don't know how to explain it. Just a little different looking. Like, it, it looks almost like we're in a different country is what you said. Well, it doesn't do it justice here. That's cool though. Look, just everything's really cool. And check out this car. Oh, it's just hanging out. <laughs> it's got plants growing out of it. It's like all so run down and old. And then you go inside and they're actually all really nice. Like, it's, it's really weird and really cool. It's called Kensington Avenue. So if you go to Toronto, this is pretty cool. Look at the painting on the building. Oh wow, that's beautiful. It's so cool. I love traveling. I love this robot machine. And I, I would so simple. What? All, all the flavors you can have. Holy crap, that is crazy. This is the smartest machine and it's soon gonna be our food machine and our drink machine. And you'll just go through it and it'll be like do 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 and it'll go blip and your burger will be there. I'm calling it here folks. Sandra said it first on YouTube. There, called it. Careful because this plate is quite warm. And here's your salmon and I'll be right back with the super good for you, okay? Thank you very Not much. a problem, anytime. What timing? We love food so much. <laughs> yep, I just got myself a piece of meat. And there you are. Thank you very Not much. Not a problem. Enjoy. Yum. Yeah. Oh, um, hello friends. I was going to mention this. Yesterday I Twittered, yes I tweet sometimes, about how Trevor and I might be going to a movie tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, to see Lucy and I was going to give you guys should I just just stop talking? Maybe here. If I was to answer that question, a relationship would be over. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. She's it, holding a weapon now. Oh, this is my, this <laughs> is my up, weapon. Yeah. I will stab you with a fork. Tomorrow, Tuesday in Toronto, we're gonna go see Lucy at I don't know what time yet. A TBD. TBD is a good time. TBD. Yeah, probably sometime in the evening, like maybe 5.30 or something like that, or 6 o'clock, whatever time Lucy is at. We will see what theater it will be at, but I'm going to post it on Twitter, so if you want to come, watch a movie, tweet to me, or message me, or something, somehow message me, and then maybe we can go see a movie, and maybe I'll treat you to a movie if you want. Would that be nice? Only make it rain. No. Well, I don't think a hundred people are gonna come. I'm gonna top it. <laughs> if there's like ten people coming, I'm gonna have to say, okay, those ten people, those first ten people get dibs. And then anyone after that, I'm gonna be like, okay, whoa, 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 guys, I'm not, I'm not made of money. That eleventh person is gonna be so sad. Oh. Trevor will pay for that eleventh person. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, so if you guys want to go to a movie and see Lucy, we are very excited to see it. Yeah. And we have to see all of the movies together because <laughs> we're like, oh, we're so excited to hang out. We have to go see all the movies that we can't see without each other. So we went and saw Hercules, wish I was here. And now we're seeing Lucy. And if I end up staying till Friday, we'll probably see Guardians of the Galaxy too. Baby time, earthquake. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me know, please. I would be very excited if you would be able to come. Hi. Looking at this view makes me appreciate life so much. Like, we are so incredibly lucky to be living in a time where, and in a place where we don't have to be worried about food and our biggest worry sometimes is just being able to live in our house. And I know that is a problem for some people, but if that's our biggest worries, we're pretty lucky. At least we're not getting eaten alive by something right now, and we at least have a roof over our head. Oh, I know sometimes it's really hard to feel appreciative towards things that don't feel fair, and it's okay to feel like the world isn't treating you right. And it's okay to be upset about things. Like, I, I don't want anybody to think by my positivity and appreciation towards things, I'm saying, no, you can't be upset about what you have, you know, or what's going on in your life. Maybe somebody is, this is gonna be bad. Every time I try to give examples of things, I usually fail, but I'll try my best. Even if someone is upset that their friend lied to them, that is, seems like, when you're a kid, that's a really big deal. When your friend lies to you, you feel like the world has cheated you. And let's just say some guy just lost his job. One of those kind of seems like a bigger problem, but they both have the same feelings. They're both feeling upset and angry and cheated by the world. And you can't really stop someone from feeling that way and make them be like ah, you're not allowed to feel that way because there's people starving somewhere else it's not the same thing and everyone is allowed to be upset in some way and that's something I've learned in the past year is that it's okay to be upset sometimes and it's okay to take your time with it and figure it out. I, the reason I'm talking about this was because I got into the whole like, I appreciate what this looks like. Oh, it was really blurry. I hope my face wasn't blurry the whole time. It just made me want to tell you guys that it's okay if you don't appreciate the world right now. I'm not wanting to make you appreciate the world. So, I think that was what the big long explanation was for. But man, that is a beautiful view. It took me a couple days to realize how beautiful it was out there. If I didn't already say this, you can go check out that video I made with my uh, brother and sister now, and sisters, the link will be in the down bar. And if anybody wants to go and watch a movie tomorrow, I will let you guys know on Twitter when and where that will be. Yeah, we're thinking probably seven o'clock will be best because Trevor works at 12 tomorrow, so we're thinking he'll probably get off at least around six or something and make it for seven. So seven tentatively between seven and eight-ish. I will keep you guys updated though.